On today's episode, Stable 0123 changes the game yet again by generating 3D models from a single image. We'll also take a closer look at the new Automatic 1111 release, the new X adapter tech that promises to let you use Stable Diffusion 1.5 plugins with SDXL models, and see if an AI Jimmy Stewart can put us into a nice holiday sleep. Plus, Stability AI reveals the pricing of their new membership model. Okay, throw your comfy noodles in a bowl and kick back for this edition of Stable Denusion for the week of December 19th, 2023, starting now. This episode is brought to you by the Everly Heights Building Dreams Patreon. Join the artistic journey and be part of something very special by supporting the project at patreon.com slash Everly Heights. And by StreamYard. Use it like I am to bring your streams to life. Get $10 in free credit by going to streamyard.everlyheights.tv to sign up. Welcome to Stable Die News, where Bill Meeks breaks down the latest stories in the world of stable diffusion and generative AI. Get ready to dive into the latent space. Now, here's your host, Bill Meeks. Welcome to Stable Denusion, where we break down the latest stories in the world of stable diffusion and generative AI. We fend off the fuss with facts. I'm Bill Meeks. Okay, let's talk about the big stories in the stable scoop. Extra, extra, here comes the stable scoop. My go-to stable diffusion front end, Automatic 1111, just released several new features in their 1.7.0 release. Among them, they've completely reworked the settings tab, as you can see here, making it easier to find various settings using categories and search. It also added support for several emerging stable diffusion technologies like SSD1B, Stable Diffusion 2.1 Turbo, and HyperTile optimization, which optimizes the self-attention layer within the stable diffusion unit and VAE models, which results in a reduction in computation time ranging from one to four times, depending on the initial resolution and tile size. It's basically the new stable diffusion tile. Now, while I haven't done a deep dive on most of the new features, I was pleasantly surprised with how smoothly upgrading went for me. I've been hanging back on an older version of Auto 1111 since August, since I've been in production on my animated pilot very special, but the upgrade went super smoothly. I just backed up my install, ran the update, deleted the Venv folder, updated my extensions, then rebooted the software to find all my stuff working. Uh, the big surprise was how much quicker SDXL is running for me now. With all the same settings, I'm seeing generation times cut by a quarter or even half in some cases, uh, depending on if I'm using a control net or not. I'm kind of bummed I waited so long to update, but totally worth it. Stability AI rolled out details and pricing on its paid membership plans this week, which start at $20 per month for commercial access on newer models like SDXL Turbo, Stable Video Diffusion, and Stable 0123, uh, which we'll talk about in a minute. The standard models like 1.5 and SDXL are still open for commercial use. Now, I had seen indications from EMAD on Reddit and Twitter that the company would only require a membership after an artist reached a certain income threshold, you know, like $100,000 or a million dollars or something like that. But the membership page Stability Posted doesn't actually mention a threshold. It does concern me that we aren't seeing anything about the income threshold on these because I'm a content creator and, you know, I need to know if I'm going to have to pay to use this tech. Still, I haven't folded stable video diffusion or turbo really into my workflows, and I'm mainly using SDXL Turbo as a quick prototyping tool before switching over to my SDXL models, so I think I'm okay. Still, if they add a training service or something appealing like that to these memberships, I can totally see myself picking one up. Right now, probably not unless I absolutely have to, because I mean, 20 bucks a month is 20 bucks a month. Okay. I've got plenty more stable denusion coming your way, but first, a quick word about the Building Dreams Everly Heights Patreon, where you can get access to the custom models we're building to make Everly Heights. I'll be back with more stable denusion 
in just a minute. This episode is brought to you by the Everly Heights Building Dreams Patreon. At everlyheights.tv, Bill Meeks already teaches you how to use the latest AI tech as he uses it himself to produce animated shows set in the fictional town of Everly Heights, Ohio. Support Bill on Patreon to gain access to an array of exclusive benefits, including his custom AI tools and models, behind-the-scenes content, and engaging stable diffusion Q and A sessions. Join the artistic journey and be part of something very special by supporting the project at patreon.com slash everlyheights. Okay, let's examine the latest breakthroughs in AI tech in a little segment I like to call the Stable Surge. Watch out, Duner! A Stable Surge is coming your way. Stability AI just keeps announcing stuff. This week's breakthrough is a new model called Stable 0123, which generates 3D objects from a single image. It builds on Stable Diffusion 1.5 models, so hopefully it'll be available to run on most hardware eventually. The weights are available now on Hugging Face. There's been a lot of these sorts of things that have popped up over the last few months, but Stability's implementation here looks really compelling. I'm anxious to try this out to see if I can fold it into my animation workflows, honestly. Uh, full 3D objects would be very useful and give me a lot more options when I'm editing my scenes. A research team from the National University of Singapore announced a new tech recently called Xadapter, which works as a translator for pre-trained models like control nets and LoRa's to make them work with the more advanced STXL models without having to retrain them which bridges the gap between the mature landscape of SD 1.5 models and the powerful new SDXL models. In comments on a Reddit thread, the project author and Reddit user SafeBlackberry506 says that he hopes to release the code within the next month. This will come at a cost to VRAM as Stable Diffusion will have to keep aspects of the 1.5 and XL models in memory at the same time. 1.5 models will need to be run through a soft retrain to work, but it's not computationally expensive and your original models remain untouched if you wanna use them with the standard 1.5 models. Now, I, I'm pretty pumped about this, honestly. Stable Diffusion 1.5 LoRa's are so much easier and so much faster to train. And being able to patch all of my 1.5 LoRa's into SDXL would be awesome and save me a ton of time going back and forth and switching models. So hopefully this works as it's advertised on the tin. Finally, let's explore how AI is invading popular culture in artificial pop. The Calm smartphone app, which is aimed at helping people sleep, has resurrected Jimmy Stewart with the aid of AI and the permission of Stewart's estate. It's a Wonderful Sleep Story uses an audio model called Respeecher to rebuild Stewart's voice from audio archives. The company recorded an actor doing an impression of Stewart, then ran it through the AI model to produce the final product, which you can hear here. Well, hello, I'm James Stewart. But, well, you can call me Jimmy. Tonight, I'm going to tell you a story. It's a heartwarming story of love, of loss, of hope, and of joy. But most of all, it's a wonderful sleep story. Well, I don't think the results are super impressive, it is interesting to see the estates of celebrities sign off on this sort of thing. There's only going to be more of it, so maybe we'll eventually get uh, It's a Wonderful Life to uh, Potter Wins the Day, uh, because that's probably how it would go if there was a sequel, unfortunately. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me today as I break down the latest Stable Diffusion news. Oh, and keep an eye out on Christmas Eve for the results of our Santa's Bad Night AI art contest. We'll have a lot of great entries, a lot of fun, evil, bad Santa stuff. You're going to love this special coming out on Christmas Eve. Okay, see you next time and keep dreaming. Read the stories and join the team at everlyheights.tv. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Everly Heights. Watch us build Everly Heights in building dreams by subscribing to at Bill Meeks LA on YouTube. 
get access to the custom stable diffusion models we're using to build Everly Heights, as well as our morning meeting production diary by supporting us at patreon.com slash Everly Heights.